Hello beautiful! Welcome back to Nat's Beautiful Life. Today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon wrap up. So these are the books that I read for Booktubeathon and also the movie I watched for Booktubeathon. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that you needed to do was toss a coin and um, between two books and that would be your first book of the challenge. Um, I did the toss up between these two and this one won. So this was the first book I started. This also completed the challenge. So for the coin toss, the book with a green on the cover and also a book about something you've always wanted to do. And I've always wanted to go to Australia and this takes place in Australia. So three challenges right there in one book. I really love these books. Uh, by Jane Harper. The first one is called The Dry. This is the second one in the series. These are really great, really great of <laughs> mysteries and um, it's usually something you don't quite see coming at the beginning so that's always a good thing to have in a mystery and I highly recommend that book. The next book that I picked was a graphic novel and by the way this is the only book from my original TBR that I actually did everything else change just FYI but uh, I did the summer of us or no this one summer this one summer by Jillian and Mariko Tamaki they are cousins it is a graphic novel it's a cute little coming-of-age story and come on the the artworks really great I just I really loved it it's a really cute story as I'll recommend my book to movie adaptation was going to be The Darkest Minds and then I was going to go see the movie during the weekend but last week turned out to be so hectic and so busy and I just knew there was no way I was going to be able to go to the movies so I decided to read a book that I owned the movie of and that was The Jungle Book and I did the Jungle Book, the uh, live action one that John Favreau, Favreau did um, a few years back. I love that movie. It's like amazing. Um, but I did the Jungle Book for that and I did the whole thing. A lot of people don't realize that the Jungle Book, only like a quarter of the book is actually Mowgli's story. It's a bunch of other animals and stories and things as well. But um, it's really cute in some places and then disturbing in others because this was written in like the 1890s and um, things were different and what I guess people read to children was different then but this is good and also I did um, kind of back and forth of the book and the audiobook and the audiobook is so good like I would listen to that at night and it would literally just like lull me to where I wanted to go to sleep and so excellent so I highly recommend either one of those and thank you Barry flipping your ears because I'm filming and you have to do that uh, this one I think is a more recent because I got it from the library um, it says February 2018 I'm not sure when this actual edition uh, came out but this is the one that's illustrated by Robert Ingman Ingman and this one's got really good illustrations in it and it's a really hefty book but I really loved it all right next challenge is um, read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time so I did underneath or excuse me beneath I'm looking right at it beneath the sugar sky by Shauna McGuire this is the third installment in the wayward children's series and I think this has been my favorite and um, I do recommend this one. The first one I did not like at all. It had potential. And then everybody was like, Down Among the Sticks and Bones is really good. So I read that one. It was pretty good. Um, but this one's been my favorite so far. And I do like this one a lot. Um, so I don't want to tell you it too much about it. But it's kind of like a quest. They're all going on a quest together. And they do go to different worlds and things like that. Um, but I don't want to give too much away because it will be a spoiler for the first book if you haven't read it. Moving on for um, I think the rest of the challenges were like yeah to read seven books so every everything got touched on so I did the whole challenge all the challenges and then we had the extra books to hit that seven book mark so I did an audiobook I did a Lumine 
and I gotta be honest with you, I did not enjoy this that much. I, there were certain twists to it that I was like, oh, that's, you know, that was interesting and different things and they ended well, but I know everybody was like, mine was like blown by this book, so I was expecting great things. And it's kind of like the YA version of The Themis Files, which is Sleeping Giants, Waking Gods, and Only Human. And I did the audiobooks of those, and I loved it. It's told in the same type of format with the uh, files and stuff. It was really great. But the Illuminae files or Illuminae, I did, I was so ready for that book to be over. It weren't even funny. So let me know. Do you, do you, are you one of me? Are you one of my people that are just like, no, didn't love it? Or were you, was, I don't know. Everybody just raves about it, and I just, I didn't enjoy it. The next book I did, uh, I had a whole day at the hospital <laughs> uh, on Friday. Um, one of my family members was getting a whole bunch of tests and stuff, so I read this entire book that day at the hospital. It is The Boy in the Stripe Pajamas. It's relatively short, so I thought this would be good. It's a new classic, so I thought, hey, I haven't read this before. It looks like it'll be a quick read. It is so... it. Mm, Guys, now, okay, the writing of this, there's so many, I'm like, I'm thinking I'm going to do a quick Goodreads um, review on this because there are so many things in this book that bothered me, but for one, it was told through the eyes of a child, and the, it's told through the eyes of the child whose father was the commandant of Auschwitz, so that was an interesting concept, and because it was through the eyes of, the, of a child, you, it was like highlighting how stupid it is and how like it makes no sense for, you know, people to not like each other just because of their race or they're different or, and, and so in that sense I see, and then in the little, the writer's note in the back he did say he wanted to write it through the eyes of a naive child, but this child would have to be stupid to not get what was going on in, in some of these things because he was nine. He was nine. Um, but the relationship he had with the little boy in the fence was really sweet. Um, and I liked it. The way it ends is so disturbing. Like, yeah. I, I even considered like, oh, well, maybe I'll, because I was reading this, like, oh, maybe I'll watch this movie instead. I was like, there is no way. I am so done with this book. I mean, it's. I won't say it's not definitely not a bad book. Um, it's it helps you see things in other ways, but just the way, like for one thing, he he kept calling um, Auschwitz out with because he was too young to say Auschwitz. He couldn't pronounce it, but he didn't speak English, and it's even it's even touched on in here that he only spoke German, and. Out with in German is this. It sounds nothing like out with. So I, that was just, that was, just little things like that bothered me. I, English major just coming out of me right now, but also just the naive, naivete of this kid. I, I don't think that's even possible unless. So that was my problem with the book. But the story itself was heartwarming and and I would say heartwarming because it just highlighted just how stupid and pointless racism is. Now I will move away from the Holocaust book. Um, yeah. The last book, um, number seven, is another graphic novel and it's Darling. It is. Everyone's an alien when you're an alien too. Um, this book will just give you all the feels, and you can read it, and you know, you can read it really quick in one setting, because it is a graphic novel, but don't. Literally just absorb every little thing of it, because it's so precious, and like, it just highlights things that are true in this world, and it just does it in such a simple way, and... Um, you can, well, I'll, I'll show you like a real simple page or something. Here we go. Well, then you got one that's like this. And it's all black and white. So I thought that maybe one day I, um, actually might go through and color this through. 
make it colorful. I thought that would be fun. Um, but yeah, this is, it's just a precious book. And basically what it is is um, the aliens take this alien to Earth and he's supposed to learn about the humans and all of that. And it's just, it's about his encounters with the little creatures and such and things that he meets on Earth. There you go. All right, so that is it. That is my Booktubeathon wrap up. Um, I did do all of the Instagram challenges. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me. And then you can check out my feed. It has all the challenges done for um, the Instagram challenges uh, for Booktubeathon. Um, and I had a lot of fun. So I kind of wish that last week would have been a little bit easier on me as far as like stress and things to do. I, I thought I was going to have like last week off and I was just going to be able to read and have a great time. And last week, I'm so ready. I was so ready for last week to be over, but I did enjoy Booktubeathon so, so much. And I am looking forward to next year. All right. So tell me, what are you reading right now? How did you do with Booktubeathon? What was your wrap up? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, click the little like guy, and I will see you next time on That's Beautiful Life. Have a great day, gorgeous.